History of Computers In this branch of technology, the computer became a basic necessity in our daily lives. The term computer is derived from the word compute, which means to calculate. Computers is a modern invention. It is a personal calculated machine that can handle different tasks at the same time. Have you imagined the life without computers? Have you wondered what it feels like living without computers? To know the history of computers, let us go back to the past wherein the first calculated machine was invented. Abacus The abacus was the first mechanical device for calculation. It is made of wooden frames with the rod, each having beads. The rotating wheel calculator, also known as Pascal and calculator, was first developed by a French philosopher, Blaise Pascal. It consists of gears and levers. This is a predecessor to today's electronic calculator. Analytical Engine Analytical Engine was invented by a British mathematician named Charles Babbage, also known as the fathers of today's computer. It is an engine powered by a huge steam engine and can handle a large amount of data and process them at high speed. Tabulating Machine The tabulating machine was invented by Hermann Hollery. It is capable of reading data, processing it, and giving the desired output. It is based on IPO cycle. This machine is capable of reading both numbers and letters. First generation is from 1940 to 1956, the vacuum tube. The first generation of computer used vacuum tubes for circuitry and magnetic drums for memory. It can solve only one problem at a time. From the year 1941, Atanasov and his graduate student Clifford Berry designed a computer that can solve 29 equations simultaneously. This marks the first time a computer is able to store information on its main memory from 1943 to 1944 two university of pennsylvania professors john mockley and j presper eckert build the electronic numerical integrator and calculator or ENIAC, considered the grandfather of digital computers it fills a 20 foot by 40 foot room at, and has 80,000 vacuum tubes 1946. Mockley and Presper leave the University of Pennsylvania and receive funding from the Census Bureau to build the UNIVAC, the first com commercial computer for business and government applications. Second generation is from 1956 to 1963, transistors. The second generation of computers replaced vacuum tubes by transistors. Transistors used punch cards for input and printout for output. William Shockley, John Barden, and Walter Bratain of Bell Laboratories invent the transistor. They discovered how to make an electric switch with solid materials and no need for vacuum. Grace Hooper develops the first computer language, which eventually becomes known as Kubo. Thomas Johnson Watson Jr son of IBM CEO Thomas Johnson Watson Sr. conceives the IBM 701 EDPM to help the United Nations keep tabs on Korea during the war. The Fortran programming language, an acronym for formula translation, is developed by a team of programmers at IBM led by John Bacchus, according to the University of Michigan. Third generation is from 1964 to 1971, integrated circuits. Transistors were made smaller in size and placed on silicon chips. It increased the speed and efficiency of computers. It can solve many problems at a time. Jack Kilby and Robert Noyce unveiled the integrated circuit known as the computer chip. Kilby was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physics in 2000 for his work. Douglas Engelbart shows a prototype of the modern computer with a mouse and a graphical user interface. 
This marks the evolution of the computer from a specialized machine for scientists and mathematicians to technology that is more accessible to the general public. A group of developers at Bell Labs produced Unix, an operating system that addressed compatibility issues. Written in the C programming language, Unix was portable across multiple platforms and became the operating system of choice among mainframes at large companies and government entities. Due to the slow nature of the system, it never quite gained traction among home PC users. The newly formed Intel unveils the Intel 1103, the first dynamic random access memory chip. Alan Sugart leads a team of IBM engineers who invent the floppy disk, allowing data to be shared among computers. Fourth generation is from 1971 to present. Microprocessor. Thousands of integrated circuits were built onto a single silicon chip. As these small computers became more powerful, they could be linked together to form networks, which eventually led to the development of internet. Robert McAlfee, a member of the research staff for Xerox, develops Ethernet for connecting multiple computers and other hardware. The January issue of Popular Electronics magazine features the Altair 8080, described as the world's first mini computer kit to rival commercial models. Steve Jobs and Steve Wozniak start Apple computers on April Fool's Day and roll out the Apple I, the first computer with a single circuit board according to Stanford University. Jobs and Wozniak incorporate Apple and show the Apple II at the first West Coast Computer Fair. It offers color graphics and incorporates an audio cassette drive for storage. The first IBM personal computer, codenamed Acorn, is introduced. It uses Microsoft's MSDOS operating system. It has an Intel chip, two floppy disks, and an optional color monitor. Sears and Roebuck and Computerland sell the machines, marking the first time a computer is available through outside distributors. It also popularizes the term PC. Tim Berners-Lee, a researcher at CERN, the High Energy Physics Laboratory in Geneva, develops hypertext markup language, or HTML, giving rise to the World Wide Web. Sergey Brin and Larry Page develop the Google search engine. The, the term Wi-Fi becomes part of the computing language and users begin connecting to the internet. Apple introduces the MacBook Pro, its first Intel-based dual-core mobile computer as well as an Intel-based iMac. The first reprogrammable quantum computer was created. The University of Michigan announced the creation of the world's smallest computer, an ARM Cortex-M0 microcontroller measuring 0.3 mm on each side. Fifth generation is present and beyond artificial intelligence. Fifth generation computers will come close to bridging the gap between computing and thinking. Because of these advances in technology, we can now make movies, 3D computer animation, play video games, make music, do school works, our business, transportation, navigation, space technology, and many more. Year 2019, the first folding smartphones are introduced. Apple released the iPhone 11, iPhone 11 Pro, iPhone 11 Pro Max. As a result of the various improvements to the development of the computer, we have seen the computer being used in all areas of life. It is a very useful tool that will continue to experience new development as time passes.